La, es como es la, 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 una nueva revelación o un nuevo momento, un nuevo aire, un nuevo principio, un nuevo, un nuevo inicio de la, de, de la cultura cubana, de la música cubana. Money issue is another problem, but you know, I don't think the salsa groups have money also, but they have more backup than the hip hop groups. And there are hip hop people, sometimes they have good lyrics, they do better things, but you know, they just don't get the deals. I mean, more journalists now come to, to, do, to do pieces on hip hop than they do salsa. Cuando por primera vez se hace un artículo en Estados Unidos sobre rap cubano, que sale en la revista Stress, saca en junio del 97, diciembre, enero del 97-98, la The Source saca un artículo escrito por Cristina Verán acerca del, del, del rap cubano. We put it out there that first year in a major way between those two publications, and it just snowballed from there. El prejuicio de una forma u otra está presente. Negro delincuente, concepto legendario, visto como la. 1998 was the first year that we went to Cuba. I went with Most Def and Talib Kweli, and we went uh, on the back of the first Black August celebration in New York. We brought turntables, records, um, and our own voices to be a part of it. And I arrived in Cuba, and that's where my life changed. I think that Cuban hip hop creates a dialogue between the generation that lived the revolution and the, the generation who has most benefited from it. I think that it also opens a space for there to be a discussion about how the revolution needs to be redefined for the next generation. It is as much a voice of, of affirmation of the revolution as it is a voice of resistance to some of the shortcomings of the revolution. Los artistas en sus letras básicamente hablan sobre las dificultades actuales para que tenemos los cubanos para o sea para vivir, ¿no? Eh, de, hablan también de política, de la situación a nivel mundial. Eh, nos proyectamos contra la guerra. Las dificultades raciales. People here is, sometimes I think that they're afraid to reveal what they feel in their real life, you know. Because they're afraid that something might happen to them. Eh, o sea, de hecho la censura existe, pero que yo no pienso en que, en que no voy a hacer este tema porque hay censura. Yo hago un tema. Si se puede poner por el radio, bien, si no, yo no me limito, no limito mi, mi creación por I saw examples of Dead Prez in Cuba. I saw examples of DMX in Cuba. I saw examples of Queen Latifah in Cuba. I saw examples of uh, Snoop in Cuba. I saw examples of Buju Bantan in Cuba. They soak up what the world has given them. Had I known they were listening so closely, I would probably would have said something directly to them. Hip hop has also become our culture. And what we understand is that it is a, a borderless culture. It is a, a culture that has no geographic identity at this point. While it was born in one very particular corner of the world, it is worldwide at this point. Hip hop was born I'm from struggle. Hip hop was born from poverty and making a dollar out of 15 cents. Cuba is the perfect example of what happened in the Bronx. It is not uh, U.S. hip hop. It is not hip hop in Puerto Rico, Mexico. It is Cuban hip hop. There is a style of dress, a manner of expression, an alternative style of life. Like Karis said, rap is something you do, hip hop is something you live. Los otros aquí son unos santos, de cuáles cuantos, tantos momentos oportunos, para que vengas tú a decirme a mí que no hay ninguno. Más fácil es culpar a alguno de color oscuro, supuestamente involucrado por lo que aparenta el léxico y la vestimenta.